Hey there, Crown Up Nation. It's your girl, Danny Royal from dannyroyal.com. It's been a while uh, since I've done an actual pre-recorded video, but I, I I could go live right now, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and do um, this as a pre-record. Hey, thank you to all my new subscribers. I really, really appreciate you guys. For all those people that will be rocking out with me, I really, really appreciate you guys in advance. Thank you so much. Um, Y'all, we are in a time where it is most crucial that we pray. It is most crucial that we seek seek the face of God and not the hand of God. Now, granted the fact that we need things, yes. But let me tell you, like what's been really, really in my spirit is if we take care of God's business, he's going to take care of ours. And any like over anybody, I know that, I know that, I know that. I know that I know that I'm not just telling you guys something that I'm just that I just think I'm telling you something that I know I'm telling you from even current experience I'm like Lord God you know the things that I need you know um you meet the needs of your people accordingly I just trust that he's gonna do it I don't know how I don't know when I don't I don't know that ain't none of my business my my business is to trust but this is we're in a, a time where we we, um, oh, we have to. I can't even get the words together to get it out to just to to just Im imply how how urgent it is to be under the ark of safety and to be in God and to really really rest, rule, and abide in Him. Y'all, it's it's crucial. Lord, I love you, God. So I just I'm sorry. I'm like all over the place, but. I was just sitting here and you know, you know how you just start giving God thanks and you just start praying and you start praising God or whatever. I was just sitting here and I was just, whoo, my spirit is full. This is a, a new month. This is a month where the most demonic stuff happens. The most spiritual warfare just takes over in ways unseen. And I need you to be on guard, okay? Um, there has been an, a, a massive amount of spiritual warfare through witchcraft um, in the atmosphere. And I need us to pray. This is not the time where we don't seek our seek seek God's face, you know, um, and and we sit at his feet. This is not the time where we want to be wishy-washy about if we want to fast or not. No, we need to be seeking God about, Lord, when should we fast? Um, if you feel led, by all means, do communion with the Lord, you know, because He, he He's requiring something different of us in this time. Um, make sure that you anoint your head with oil, your children's heads, heads with oil, the doorposts of your home, your cars or whatever with oil so that when they see the blood, they will pass over you as the word says. Make sure that you are yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in a forgiving heart posture. This is what you want to do in this season. Right now, God is doing things. And when I say he is judging, you don't want to fall on the wrath side of God's judgment because like his mercy is his mercy. But let me tell you, the way that he's tired is just unmatched, you know? So I need you guys, I need us as a people to be on guard and to be in the vein, and to be forgiving, and to be kind to one another during this time, because this is not the time where you want to show God that you don't qualify for the shift, okay, because there is a shift coming from a shaking that's taking place, because he's, 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 he's separating, he said that he's going to let the wheat and the tear grow together, and then that he's going to do the separating, so as I was reading because I can go for miles. I can go for miles. As I was reading, um, I began to read. I, I heard the Holy Spirit. No. As I was in praise and in prayer, I heard the Holy Spirit say, go to, um, uh, go to Isaiah chapter 14, you guys. Now, I'm going to unpack this for you just real quick. He told me to read the complete chapter. And I'm just sharing this moment with you guys um, because I just got, I felt something um, as I was reading. And I'm like, oh my goodness, Lord, this is good. And so I'm like, what a way to start off the new month. What a way to start off. We're about to also approach our new year. 
for the people of God. Those who, who don't just go off of the Gregorian calendar. Soon we will be reaching and approaching 5785, you guys. And um, let me tell you how there's so much, there's so much. So much coming down the pipeline. I heard God, the Holy Spirit say, um, I believe I heard him say um, um, some things about the, a blackout or outages that's going to be happening further um, around election time to affect the votes. Now, take that word back to the Lord in prayer. I'm going to continue to seek God about it to make sure and ensure that I heard him correctly. I don't want us to be in fear. But one thing that I do know is there's been a lot of outages I, even outages that I've experienced and I'm like God that's not that's not by accident I know for a fact that's not by accident and it's not just here it's in other places and it's not just because of storms it's in other places and also not only that be mindful um, uh, about the towers, thank you, Holy Spirit. About the towers, um, um, our cell phone towers, and all these things, because a lot of us lock our phones. And what happens when you don't have access to finances? I don't know who this is for, but I'm speaking a word to carry cash on you, um, and put some cash in away. I don't know, however much you feel led to, as the Holy Spirit give you, um, gives you the the way to do so. But there's gonna be a time. Um, at some point, I don't know what, when specifically, I don't know when, where um, um, our towers are going to go out even even so much so where we won't be able to tap into our cash. And so you got to be um, um, on, on the Internet and, and all these these things. And what happens if our Internet and all this and that and that and this and this and that goes out and, and the, and the grid, grid is down, you don't have access to these things. So Holy Spirit, have your way. I need you guys to be on guard. I need you, you guys to be ever present, ever ready, waiting for, for the next word of God, for the next move of God, for the next shift of God, because he's doing it right now. Okay. Y'all know everybody's been saying judgment is coming. Judgment. No, 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 no. Judgment is, is here. And it's been here. It's been here. It, it, it's just about to get turned up. It's about to get turned up on a whole nother level, okay? So, um, you guys, take everything that I'm saying back to the Lord in prayer. Please don't take my word for it. Anything that I read, I'm about to read to you guys, with you guys, Isaiah chapter 14. And I need you guys to take this word, take the scripture, take all this back to the Lord in prayer. And I also need you to read the word for yourself. Don't take anybody else's word for it, okay? Take this back to the Lord in prayer. So, I'm going to start with reading Isaiah now. And I'm going to break it down. As it's broken down in my Bible, okay? Excuse me. As it's broken down in my Bible, okay? So I'm going to... So it says, a rest from bondage. And before I read it, I need the people of God to know that God is about to bless his people. We're about to... What's been in my spirit is the just... Uh, uh, um, 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 the wealth of the just is, I mean, the wealth of the wicked is stored up and laid up for the just, okay? And I'm paraphrasing, okay? But the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. And so we're going to experience a rest from bondage. I believe that that's coming um, around election time. I'm not going to say that we won't be experiencing things, but let me tell you how the peace that God is going to give us, the wisdom that God is going to give us, the knowledge and understanding that God's going to give us, we're going to be able to operate and tunnel through these things with ease. Okay. This is also why he's been saying, prepare, 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 because this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this, this, that, and the third. And, and when I do this, and that, and third, you're going to be ready. This is where his prophetic voices comes in. Yes, I understand. I understand that there are false prophets going abroad. Okay. This is why you never take anybody else's word for it, but you take it back to the Lord in prayer, even if it resonates with your spirit so that God can confirm, reassure or whatever. Or maybe this is the confirmation that you're looking for. Or you've been looking for say, God, I went to you. You spoke to me this. I believe you said this, Lord, I got this. Is this right? Test my spirit. Okay. I need you to do that. We need to do that. Okay. Because we need to know what we're getting ourselves into. Okay. My Lord, I just heard a name. But I'll 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 
take that back to the Lord in prayer, okay? So four, God is going to give us a rest from bondage. So it says, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and I will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land and, and the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, okay? God is about to literally set the people up. Those, those when I say the Lord will make your enemies your footstool, those people who are strangers in our land, God is going, God is, he has a plan for them. He has a plan for them. Now, there has been some things released, you know, some people released into our land, Americans from other, from another country, from another place or whatever, thousands of them. But let me tell you how God has a plan. I understand what it looks like. I understand what it sounds like. And the enemy knows too. But let me tell you, God is about to do a thing. And guess what? They're going to have to come subject to the spirit of God. Amen. I'm going to read it one more time. And it says, for the Lord will have mercy. God is going to have mercy on his people. He will have mercy on Jacob. And, and will cho yet choose Israel. God is yet choosing his people. Despite what's going on, he is yet choosing his people. He knows that people in high places are trying to trying to trying to try to be God. But he's like, I am the Lord and I change this not. Change of not. And I'm gonna do what I said that I'm going to do. God's not a God where he should lie. He said this. He said he's going to yet choose Israel, have mercy on us, and then he says. And set them in their own land. So then we'll be in our own place where God wants us to be. And the strangers shall be joined with us. With them. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They're going to come subject. Those people that came into our land and our territory. Those foreigners and all those things. They're going to have to come subject in Jesus name. And nothing by any means shall harm us. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. For servants and handmaids. They will come subject to the spirit of God. Every person that's not like God Every person that's not like him in the land where God is trying to uh, uh, take his people, where God has taken his people, where God will take his people, they have to come subject to the Holy Spirit. And God will allow them to do things accordingly. God is going to give us rest from bondage. And I don't know about you. If you have been in America, yes, it's supposed to be the... I did a word where it says the home, the land of the uh, free and the home of the slave. God is going to give us rest from bondage. This is, uh, I believe that America is a uh, uh, mystery Babylon, new age Babylon. And then it says, and they shall take them captives whose captives they were. Do you hear me? This is, this is a pure indication of all things work together for the good of them who loves God and to those who are uh, the called according to his purpose. And they shall rule over their oppressors. We will rule over our, oppress our oppressors for a season and time. God is going to do it. Because God is doing a new thing and he has to shake some things up so that they can see and know that he is God. And it shall come to pass in that day, in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from thy hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. Y'all see that there is a there is a strike going on um at the port and they are like we're not going to be overly working and being underpaid. God is going to give us rest. See all of this all of this is taking place and happening for a reason. Nothing 
that I'm talking about saying in this moment or that we're experiencing is, is by accident. I need you to understand that this is more about the spiritual fight then it is a natural fight. It's just that we are seeing the manifestation of the spiritual fight up close and personal in the natural. But I need y'all to stay tuned. This is what happens when people in high places want to play God. Now, I love that I'm talking about that because I, it's going to... As I continue to read on, you'll see exactly what I mean. This has been spiritual from the jump. And I'm going to also read, I'm going to also read a little, a little um passage in my Bible because I have um like a study Bible and it says, and this is summing up uh, chapter 14 from verse one through 11. And it says this, this section is a song of triumph over Babylon. People of God, we are going to triumph over Babylon. Yes, America is, is doing what it's doing. America is not exempt. But let me tell you, God is going to cover his people during this time because he knows. He knows who's been praying. He knows who's not. He knows who's serving him and he knows who's not. He knows the people that acknowledge them with their lips and their hearts be far from him. He knows these things, okay? And so he says, the nation that will one day send Judah into captivity will herself be severely judged by God. God is judging a people. He is judging nations abroad. May this word apply to wherever you are. If you are a child of God, this word will apply. Why? Because God is judging everywhere. He's not just judging America. He's judging everywhere. He's even judging his church. And he must address us first. And it says, in spite of this displeasure with Israel, there is coming a time when he will have mercy on Jacob. Yes, we are unworthy. Yes, we don't deserve it. But God is going to show mercy on Jacob. And then it says, and will choose Israel. This refers to Israel's future restoration in her own land. In the name of Jesus, prayer point, where may we be, may we experience restoration in our own land. Let that be something that you pray. Lord, may we experience restoration in our own land. Your own land can be your home. Your own land could be your ministry. Your own land could be the church. Your own land could be could be um could be our, our, our your city. Your own land could be um your children. Your own land could be anything. You correlate that with God. May you experience peace and restoration in your own land by the mercy of God in the name of Jesus. Prayer point. I need y'all to take that, run with it in your own time, pray on it. Okay, so now I'm going to read the fall of Babylon's king. Okay, my God, God is taking people in high places down. God is taking people in high places. Hear me, you guys. He is taking people in high places and he is bringing them down. And it says, he says, that this is starting at verse four, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, how hath the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. The Lord have broken the staff of the wicked and the, the scepter of the rulers. I'm telling you, God is, he's dismantling things for his people. He's destroying things for his people. He's doing it for his people. And as he judges, there are going to be things that look foreign, look crazy, look, ooh. And guess what? It's the judgment of God that they're facing because pride becomes before a mighty fall. 
Pride comes before a mighty fall. And it says, he who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindered. Then it says, the whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Yea, the fear trees rejoice at thee and the cedars of Lebanon saying, since thou art laid down, no feller is come up against us. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee and thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee. Even all the chief ones of the earth, it have raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. My God, do you hear? And then it says, All they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? My God, art thou become like unto us? Thy pump, thy pump is brought down to the grave. Some people will die. Some people in high places will die. They will die. And come in 2020, 2025, and even before then, people in high, some people in high places are going to die. People that you least expect. Some people that you expect, if you've been following the times, they will die. And the noise of thy vows, the worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. Some people will die. Will die. People of high prominence is what I'm hearing. People in prominent positions, they're going to they're going to go. I don't know who. I just hear this in my spirit. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down the cut down to the ground? which thou weakenest the nations. For thou hast said unto thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the, of the congregation in the, in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds and I will be like the Most High. Do you know that Satan has been plotting since the beginning of time? And did you not think that he was not going to try to use those people and those vessels that were willing to be used by him? They are trying to set up a one world government, a new world order. The spirit of the Antichrist is already upon us. But what happens when the Antichrist is presented to us? The times will shift. Because the word has to be established. And I need you people of God to know. And even people who don't know God. If you don't know God, I urge you to get to know him. But if you do know him, I need you to stay, to stay in your word and be on God. Because the Bible says that in the last days that the enemy will fool the very elect if it were possible. Don't allow it to be, a, to be possible for you. In the last days, you won't be able to buy nor sell. I'm telling you, there will be times that are coming up where there's going to be things that are going on and it's going to be like, wow. And the only thing you're going to be able to go off is the word that you've hidden in your heart that you may not sin against thee. The enemy's been at it for years. He got kicked out of heaven with a third of his angels. With a third of angels. He said, I want to be like the most high. He said, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds and I will be like the most high. That is his goal. So do you think that the enemy not going to use those who are willing? Absolutely. 
Because his goal is to be like the most high. Do you know that once the enemy gets you on his team, guess what? He's still not satisfied. He could care if you live or die. And what I'm feeling in my spirit right now is that people, people are going to be telling on each other. I can just see a whole bunch of confusion in our system. I, I just see, I, I, I hear people just chattering and I hear people, people just, they just found it around because they don't know when they're going to be exposed next. They don't want to be the next one. My Lord. I just hear chatter. I see people just fumbling through, 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 through stuff. They're like professionals. It's crazy. Holy Spirit, have your way. And if I just give you a little bit of, of Satan, just real quick, just to explain. Oh, how... Uh, verse 12, 14 and 12, when it says, Oh, how, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did is weaken the nations? Okay. And it says, originally created as one of God's highest angels, possessing all ang angelic attributes, Satan, which is the adversary, led angels in a rebellion. The same way the enemy does today on this earth. He leads the people into re rebellion. The laws that they have in place in our governmental system leads the people into rebellion. Okay. The system is being driven by satanic uh, 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 people that are uh, satanic entities. Satan himself. That's why we need godly officials inside of our inside of our uh, governmental system. Somebody that's for the people. Somebody that's going to pray for the people. Not somebody that's going to lie. I'm not saying that that both parties don't have that thing. But let me tell you. Seek the Lord on that. And it says he is described as the originator and chief practitioner of sin. According to 1 John 3 and 8, that wicked one. 1 John 5 and 18, a chief, and I need y'all to write these down, go read them for yourself. A chief, I mean a thief and a destroyer. John 10, 10, a deceiver. Revelations 12 and 9, a murderer and a liar. John 8, 44. And the accuser of the brethren, Revelations 12 and 10, illustrates Satan to be, um, Satan's subtle nature is reflected in his first temptation. Genesis 3 and 1, and in his titles of the angel of light, 2 Corinthians 11 and 14, and him that deceiveth the whole world. Revelations 12 and 9. His present day activities in, includes opposing the will of and work of God. Counterfeiting the work of God. And destroying all that is good. This is the enemy's job. This is Satan's job. This is what Satan is trying to do. This is what Satan has been doing. He's been doing it for get decades. And he's been using families and bloodlines and all these different things. It gets deeper and deeper and deeper. This is why we must be on guard. Satan in the in the ark of safety, safety and also acknowledge God with everything that you do. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. When we want things quick and we want to move in haste and we want to be anxious, we miss something. And that's exactly what the enemy wants. This is why it's highly imperative that when you go vote, no matter if it counts or it seems like it counts or not, because God's will is going to be done. If you decide to go vote, seek the Lord on that. Ask God 
Who is who is going to be in office? Who should be in office? Who should I be voting for? What should I be doing in such times? It's going to affect us. Our political leaders are going to affect us to some magnitude. Now the people of God are going to be covered, but they're already setting up for World War Three. It's already in position. They're just waiting for certain things to take place before they unleash certain things. They operate very strategic. The enemy is very strategic, very crafty and cunning. He's a deceiver. He's the great deceiver. It says that he's he he's a he's destroy he's off of destroying all things good. But how can we how can we uh 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 how can we as believers overcome Satan? When he remembers four basic principles. First, through Jesus, though Jesus is the greater is great. First, you got to remember that Jesus is greater than the, the devil, according to 1 John 4 and 4. A believer must still have a heavenly respect for their enemy. Even the archangel Michael did not confront Satan except in the name of Jesus. Or in the name of the Lord, according to Jude 9. Second, a wise believer will evaluate his life and avoid those situations where he is most likely to be tempted. According to 1 Thessalonians 5 and 22. Third. He should resist the devil by submitting to God, according to James 4, 7, and 10. Finally, this is how we can combat the enemy. The believer should always be prepared by wearing the whole armor of God, according to Ephesians, Ephesians 6, 13 through 17. Also, 14, also Isaiah 14, 12 through 17. Primary references also Isaiah 14 through 17, which is also correlated with 1 Timothy 4 and 1. You guys, I need y'all to take all those scriptures down. Go read them for yourself. Don't take my word for it. This is how we're able to com combat the enemy. He is the great deceiver. He is an angel of light. He wants to be like the most high. This is why money is a thing. This is why God is so, he's so, so big. According to to uh, uh, the commandments on that I should not, not put any other God before me. And how he's a jealous God. And I'm paraphrasing. Eventually Babylon will be cut off. I'm going to continue to read. And it says. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell. To, to the sides of the pit. And the. And hold up to the sides of the pit. They that see, see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? That did shake the kingdoms, that made the world as what as as a wilderness, and destroyed the cities thereof, that opened not the house of his prisoners, all the kings of the nations, even all of them lie in glory, every one of uh, every one in his own house, but thou cast out of the grave like a, an abominable branch, and as the raiment of those that that are slain, thrust th thrust through with a sword that go down to the stones of the pit and a carcase trodden under feet. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. The seed of evildoers shall never be renowned. The seed, prayer point, may the seed of evildoers never be renowned. May the seed of evildoers never be renowned in the name of Jesus. 
I need y'all to have prayer points and I need y'all to go to the Lord and pray for yourselves. May the seed of evildoers never be renowned in the name of Jesus. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess their, the land, nor fill the face of the world with city, the world with cities. For I will rise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts, and cut off, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant, and son and nephew, saith the Lord. The Lord is going to destroy those evildoers who in high places, who wants to continue on and on and on and on and on with cycles and cycles and cycles of, of, of evil doing, trying to be like the most high so that they can play God to keep the people in an oppressive state. The Lord is coming for the next. Let me tell you, they think they're getting away with things, but the Lord is about to expose people. He's about to send people to the grave. He's about to do a new thing. And let me tell you, have you not perceived it? Because he's doing it and he's doing it now. And if you are not if you are not in position, there are some people that don't want to serve the Lord and that's okay. Hell will be their portion, but understand that God has given them a chance. He has extended grace upon grace, upon grace, upon grace. And this is why he's judging today. This is why, this is why, this is why. And it says, Lucifer Lucifer most certainly refers to Satan. Now we see the, the real power behind the Gentile monarchs, the governmental people, mm -hmm, the people in high places running these, these nations, running these, these states and countries and stuff. Thus said, thus said, it's Lucifer behind them, you guys. Hear me when I say it's Lucifer behind them. This is why we, we as a people have been in bondage. Lucifer is behind them. The son of the morning. The great deceiver. Satan himself. He's not bigger than God though. Remember that. He's not bigger than Yeshua. So we have no reason to fear. Because he got some power, but he doesn't have all power. And it says, thus Isaiah uses the fall of Satan, which is an assumed fact to illustrate the fall of the Babylonian king. The name Lucifer is actually the Latin design, I mean, designation for the morning star, which is also known as the light bearer. I'm going to read 23 and then I'm going to stop right there. And it says, I will also make it a possession for the, for the bitten and pools of water. And I will sweep it with the, the bensum of destruction, save the Lord of hosts. It's about to go down, y'all. It's about to go down and let me tell you i'm doing this video because i felt led to do this video but let me tell you september was a september to remember like i heard the holy spirit say but lord knows what october is about to present us and this will be the beginning of what's coming there's so much more coming, you guys. We must prepare. Not just naturally prepare, but pe prepare in the spirit. That's the only way we're going to win. Recognizing that this is a spiritual battle. He said, I want to be like the most high. He got kicked out of heaven with a third of his angels. Saying, I want to be like the most high. He 
Satan is running things here on this earth. But let me tell you how the judgment of God is going to put a lot of things in perspective. Mark my words. And it may look real bad, but for looks better. And it may not even look better. But God is doing a new thing. I love you all so much. I'm your girl, Danny. Danny Royal, if you will. Crown up. You might have to cry a lot, maybe a little bit. Own your story. Own where you've been. Let me crown up. Crown up. Own where you're trying to go. Trying to what you're trying to do. It's time to take a bow royal places in the kingdom, you guys. Why? Because we have work to do. There is much work to, that needs to be done. And if we're co-creators of the kingdom, it's now. The time is now. I love you all so much. You all have a blessed day. Share this video out with somebody who needs to hear it. I know somebody needs to hear this video. They need to hear the video just for the scriptures alone. They need to know what's really going on. And for those who don't want to, to, to know and, um, 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 and be aware of what's going on, woe unto you. I leave you into the hands of the Lord. Prayer point. May Satan's kingdom be torn down in the name of Jesus. When I say prayer point, you make sure that you pray those prayers when you are in your prayer time. I love y'all so much. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Peace.